If you're out in the hinterland of the beautiful Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia, one of the places you might like to visit is the Hins Dam. Now before anyone gets carried away with local politics, no it's not Russ Hins that was a member of parliament. It in fact goes back much, much longer than that. It goes back to the Hins family who came around this area way back in the beginning of um, the century. In fact, last century, 1882. They started farming the area, growing things like corn, potatoes, pumpkins, grapes, even an orange orchard. And it's reported that uh, Otto Hins once said, this is a perfect place to build a dam. They will do it one day, he said. And eventually the Queensland Government, through what is now SEQ, South East Queensland Water, acquired the site and construction at Hins Dam that we're looking at now, Stage 1, which is on the Narang River, which is fed by the Little Narang River in the Numanbar Valley. They developed this structure that you see in front of you now that opened in 1976. This is the spillway we're looking at from behind the dam wall. The original homes were actually out where the water is. And as you can see, it just spreads for quite some distance. Now, the purpose of the Hins Dam, in case you don't know, would, is to feed the Gold Coast. And the Gold Coast has grown from swampy, mosquito-infected area to probably the largest tourist area in Australia at the moment. So we're just going to move down here a little bit and have a look. It's all free when you come here too to walk around the Hins Dam. You can spend an hour, half an hour, you can spend a whole day here if you want to. There's a cafe, souvenir shop, those sort of things that um, you can visit. And that is actually Alex Town Lake that we're looking at there. And the gentleman who was involved in this, project engineer, was a Walter Peak. Now, as you can see by the hills and things around here, it was a bit of a uh, problem. It's difficult terrain. It was built when there was material shortages. And he started out with the Little Narang Dam, which was built between, I think from memory, 1954 to 1963. He gained 30 years experience. And when the big dam opened, it's got a height crest of 201 metres and it has over 6,705 megalitres of storage to take the water into the Gold Coast. It was to live at one year ahead of schedule and something like a bit over two million pounds under the original budget despite rising costs, labour shortages, limited government funding and plucker duck certainly wouldn't be able to build this these days. So this is what we're looking at now. It's one of actually 26 dams that flow into the larger Hins Dam and feeds the Gold Coast. So quite a major structure and that is the Hins Dam fed by the Narang and the Little Narang River. So hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand side of this video. Post a comment if you'd like to post a comment and we look forward to seeing you on the next presentation. Meanwhile, if you're out in the area visiting the Flying Bean Cafe on your motorcycle, make sure you ride safe. Hit the subscribe button now.